In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easiest Photoshop focus stacking tutorial you've ever seen. Don't worry if you're intimidated by Photoshop or focus stacking because after this tutorial, you'll master it with ease. We are going to start our journey in Lightroom and this is because Lightroom has the capability to organize your photos for you. If you see these two photos that I'm scrolling back and forth between right now, you can see that one looks a little bit blurry and one looks pretty sharp in focus. The reality is the foreground to one is in focus and the background is out of focus. And in the other photo, the background is in focus and the foreground is out of focus. Why do you need to do that? Take two different focal distances. Well, if the foreground and background are so far apart that you have massive distance between the two, even using something like F14 to F16 might not get everything in tack sharp focus. And to be safe, you can use focus stacking, taking one shot focusing on the very front of the scene and one shot focusing on the back of the scene. Now this is just two different shots, but you can actually take as many shots as you want to to be sure you have everything in focus. I just usually take two for landscapes. So to get this process started, you're gonna select the first photo that you want to focus stack, hold down your shift key and select the second photo. Then you're going to right click and select edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. Why do you not want to just open these photos in Photoshop? Because it's going to open two different files that could get dicey because you're doing a lot of copy and pasting over to the other file. It's much easier if you just open them as layers. You'll see why in just a second. So open as layers in Photoshop and that will prompt Photoshop to open its software and load these up as layers. So here are my two photos that I have down here. If I hit this eye icon, I can turn each of these layers on and off. Obviously the top layer is going to be the one showing and you can always switch those layers around. But for this tutorial and this technique, you don't really need to switch them around. They're good to go as they are. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did in Lightroom. Select the first layer, hold down my shift key, select the second layer, and I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm going to go to auto align layers. Now, why do I want to select auto align layers is because in this photo in particular, I barely touched my camera and it shifted the camera just a little bit to the right. Your camera can also do something called focus breathing, which is when your camera zooms in and out or refocuses, and that can actually throw the composition off just slightly. So you always want to auto align your layers just to be safe. I have auto selected. I always say just keep it on auto and hit okay. And that's going to align those layers up. Now in the past, you used to have to go in here and crop out the extra stuff. But in just a second, I'm gonna show you a really quick and simple fix that you don't have to do that anymore. So I still have my layers selected here. I'm gonna go back up to edit and I'm going to go to auto blend layers. Now this window comes up. This is the same process you would use to create a panorama, but we're doing blending layers. So I'm gonna stay on stack images. Now down here are two different check marks. You remember how I said you no longer have to crop this out. You can actually check fill content aware transparent areas, and that's going to use AI to fill those transparent areas that are cropped out just slightly to fill them in with accurate data and pixels in the photo. It's actually very accurate. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm just gonna keep those selected, hit okay, and it's going to stack those layers on top of each other. Now you may be saying, well, how does it actually do that? I'll show you right now. As you can see, I have a fully in focus photo from this front tree all the way to the back foliage. But if you look down here in the layers panel, you can see that each one of these photos has a little white window next to it. That's called a mask. Photoshop has automatically found areas in focus and masked those in and combined the two photos for you. Thus, you don't have to do anything. You just have to do a few clicks of the mouse. Now to further edit your photos, it's as easy as going to file, save, it throws it back over into Lightroom and you are good to go. If you want more Photoshop tutorials, click or tap this playlist showing up on your screen right now.